Hey, my little Einstein. So today we're going to talk about round whole numbers. Now we talked about rounding before in grade one and two. So we're going to go into more depth into round whole numbers. So let's take a look. So when we round rounding, there's certain rules that we have to do. So for example, if I want to round a, to the nearest 10, I have to underline the number, the place value I want, for example, the 10th place, okay? I'm going to look right next door to my neighbor, okay? If it's five and more, I'm going to raise the score. I'm going to go up to the next one, uh, next 10. If it's four or less, put it to rest. Let it rest, okay? We're going to sleep. So five and more, Go to. let's raise the score. Go to the next one. Let's raise one up. Four or less. Put it to rest. So let's do some examples explaining that. But first, I want you to see how it's like a roller coaster. So you see how it goes from one to four, all of that's less. So if we're going up the roller coaster and you stop at four, are you going to go forward or are you going to go backwards? You're going to go backwards. So you're going to go back down. So that's what I mean. You're going to go back down and change it to a zero. But if you land, for example, on a seven, you went over the hill. So that means you're going to go to the next tenth. You're going to go up to the next, the closest tenth to it. Okay? So let's take a look at some. So when we do rounding, we got to say, for example, in this question, we're rounding to the nearest tenth. Our number is 634. We're going to underline the 10 value, so which is the 3. We're going to draw an arrow to the next, to our partner, our neighbor, which is the 4. We're going to be like, hey, buddy, can you help me? What's your number? Are you 4 or less or 5 and more? So if you look at it, it's 4. So he's like, no, 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 buddy. I'm 4, so I'm going to go less. All you have to do is change it to a 0. That's it. All you do is change it to a 0. So 634 rounds to 630. If it's 4 and less, you just change it to a 0. Now, however, if that 4 was, for example, a 6, he's like, I'm 6. Let's go to the next 10. So we'll change that 3 to a 4. So it'll be 640. And we'll add a 0 at the end. So as many place values we are, if there's anything after, we'll just keep adding 0. So we will be 640. Okay? So if it's more than 5, we're going to go to the closest 10. If it's 4 and less, we're going to go back down. Now, let's do some exercises. So, for example, I have these. Round to the nearest 10. Now, when you see any questions like this, I want you to pause the video and try to answer these, and then we're going to try to answer these questions, and then we're going to answer them together. So, for example, I have 62, I have 25, and I have 77. So, let's do the first one together, and then do the other two by yourself, okay? So, for example, I have 62. I'm going to underline the 6, and I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to look at the 2. I'm like, hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Can you help me? What's your number? And he's going to say, I'm a 2. I can't help. No, man. No, no. We're going to go back down. We're going to go back down. You're just going to add a 0. So 62 rounds into 60. You're going to add, go move it to the closest 10. Okay? So I want you to pause the video now and try to answer 25 and 77 on your own. So here's our answers. We said 25. We're going to underline the 2 and we're going to look at 5. Since it's more, 5 and more, we're going to go up. So we're going to change that to, we're going to go up 1. It's going to become a 3. So it becomes 30. And we add a 0 to whatever place, whatever is afterwards. The 77, since it's more, we're going to add it to 80. It's closer to the 80 than the 70. Okay? Let's look at some more examples. Now, when it comes to the hundreds, it doesn't matter the place value. The rule is still the same. It can be round to the nearest thousand, million, hundred thousand. doesn't matter. It's still the same, the rule. So the only thing is you just got to underline what place value you're rounding to. So, for example, round to the nearest hundred, you're going to underline the hundred value. 
So for example, 577, you're going to underline the five and you're going to look at your neighbor, which is the first seven. Okay. So I want you to pause this video and try to answer these three on your own. So we have 577, 345, and 833. We're going to round these to the nearest hundred. 577 will be rounding to 600. Since 7 is more than 5, it's going to go up to the closest 100. It's going to go up 1. So 5 will go jump to 6. So it'll be 600. 345, the closest 1 will be 300. That 4 is weak. He's like, no, 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 buddy. I can't help you. So he's going to say, let's go down to 300. And then the next one will be 800. Okay? So if you have the answers right, I'm proud of you, buddy. You're super smart. Einstein. Now, this is where I want to, I want to trick you a bit, but I know you're going to get it right. So at the end, you just got it somewhere. I have round to the nearest 10, but I have three digits. So I'm, I have 100. I have 189, 734, and 256. I want you to pause this. And try to answer it but let's do the first one together and then you can do the next two by yourself okay i have 189 we're going to underline the tens value since we're only rounding to the 10 so that one stays the same do not touch it it comes down we're going to look at the eight we're going to underline the eight and we're going to do the little arrow to closest nine which is nine we're like, hey, you're more than five, so you can help me. He's like, yeah, buddy, let's go up to the next 10. So that one comes down, still the same. We're going to say 100, what's after 80? 90. We're going to say 190. Our answer will be 190. So do not touch the 100th place, okay? If it's the same, don't touch it. So I want you to do 734 and 256 on your own. So pause the video and try to answer it. So we had 734. We're going to underline the 3, and we're going to look at that 4. Since that 4 can't help me, he's like, no, 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 no. I can't do this. I'm less. You have to go back down. So we're going to go back down to 730. Well, 200, 256, sorry, 256. That six can help us. So he's going to say, yeah, yeah, go up to the closest one. Go up a 10. So that two stays the same. We'll bring it back down. And we write 60. Since after 50 is 60. Now, this is where I want to trick you. I want to know round to the nearest 10. What's well, going to be this one? Remember, 10. So we have 699. We're going to underline the 9. And we're going to find out what's going to be the nearest 10. So I want you to pause this video. I know I say this a lot, but I want you to pause this video and really think what's going to be it. Okay? Try to remember what we have, okay? But this is challenging. So since we are doing to the, to the nearest 10, we're going to underline that first 9, okay? We're going to underline the first nine, and we're going to look at that nine, the next one. And he's like, yeah, I can help you. Let's go to the next one. So the first nine is going to, we're going to look at it. We're like, how can we write six, ten, zero? We can't do that. So he's like, yeah, I'm okay. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to go all the way back to the hundred, because after 699, 700. So you got a picture on a, try to picture on a number line, okay? We have 600 and we have 700. Where's 699? Right next to the 700. So if we say round it to the nearest 10, since after 9 is 10, we're going to add it to the whole 100. Okay, so our answer is going to be 700. Our answer is going to be 700. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please email your teacher. Thank you.